Uh, yeah, this is Nana Cerebral Ampims residence. The residence of Nana Ampim. Yeah. This is how we roll. Nice. That's Nana. Nana is right there in front of his door. Nana, good evening. Good evening. We are here to visit the palace. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. <laughs> we are here to visit Nana. Yeah. So guys, let's have a look around. No, that part is part of it. There's no way we can edit. And I've got a beautiful place. Yeah. Nana, do you know what? I'll hit right into the interview for some few minutes and then I'll let you go, right? Okay. That's Nana's residence. Nana Ampem's residence, posh as it is. Yeah, that's the chief. Nana, what's this place for? Is it a small lounge, Nana? Is it a small lounge? It's an office. Ah, it's, it's an office, okay. Alright. It's a beautiful office. Good evening, Nana. How are you doing? Good, good, good. It's okay. Uh -huh. So I'm uh, Eric Panty privately, and then my school name is Nana Sirvo Dampo Ampi. I'm also the name of the Captain Linku. That is the local division of the Captain. The Captain has three divisions. And uh, we have the Zinkum, we have the Nifa, and then we have Adentin. Now, Latte happens to be the capital of the Zinkum division. Okay. So, when you are a chief in Latte, you know precisely um, the Zinkum is sub chief, then it puts you to that Zinkum uh, 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 division. Chief Tansi. Chief Tansi. Uh -huh. You get it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so is it something like that? Um, is it in Kosovo? Kosovo. Okay, yeah. so you are responsible for, for the development, of the, development of the place, which is a very uh, new strategic sort of Chief Tansi position because, you know, when they give you that sort of position, you yeah. think it's, it's, it's an honor. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, 
I'm also honored to be in your college today to sort of, you know, have a way, some sort of conversation with you. So, how, how is your journey? How did you start all these? Because, you know, uh, Rome wasn't built in a day. Yeah, because to develop itself and be successful to the extent of your township, you know, honoring you with that kind of position of chieftaincy is a, is a big deal. Yeah. Yes. Um, so if you can take us through your journey. Yes. I would say that um, it, all, it all started when my mom died. Okay. You know, uh, before that, I wasn't really going there. You know, I could you know, go month, go there like twice to visit the body. But when she died, that is when I started going there uh, to okay. You know, and then it happened that one of my cousins, she's a sister, a big sister, mm -hmm. uh, like a cousin, is a chief. She's not a criminal, she's a chief. I loved her. And uh, when I started going there, and then we saw how passionate I was with uh, uh, the development of the kids, you know, always visiting the chiefs, other chiefs, but especially the the head of the division of the Japanese. Then that suggestion came out. Uh, this guy who is from guy is so passionate about it. Why don't we, you know, try him with this position and then see how it goes? So that's when that's how I started. When they proposed, uh, I didn't intend and I accepted it. We've taken on the challenge. I think we do it more to okay. Through me, uh, there has been you know, one or two developments there. Uh, some projects, right? Yes, yes, yes. That is a project. Um, some I did it with my own resources. Okay. Some of them I'm mean, so, I mean, soliciting so, uh, uh, funds from friends, you know, relatives, you know, royal wishes, you know, loved ones. And, uh, it's going on there. And I think it's a good idea because yeah. sometimes you know, for this that we need a sort of um, collective um, exactly. you know, conversation to make it work. So, um, when did you start like, in terms of your um, primary school education? Yes, um, primary school, I started um, in Kumasi State Experimental School, and then along the line, I switched to Jaisa International. What year was that? Um, let me see. Um, I think I switched to school in 1980. Yes, mm -hmm. and then entered Bank of Holland in 1984, okay. Form 1. Yeah. Yes, um, I did up to Form 5 at Bank of and then that my uh, sixth form. Mm -hmm. Sixth form, I, I, I was at Texas, but then I had the private teachers, so, and I preferred to, you know, so I wasn't even going to school, I was the, the private teachers. Yeah, yeah, because I didn't see you. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yeah. Always at. I had these teachers at Anglican Secondary School who, my, my old boy at the time, you know, hired them to teach me privately. That is what I did. And uh, after, uh, school, yes, after the A levels, my father was into timber and he wanted me to take over. So right after that, I did some few, you know, courses here and there, and then, you know, went to Europe, besides the Ireland, to uh, 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 study and uh, study uh, uh, one of his uh, business partners. He had a huge company, there. so I went there for training, just um, uh, uh, both practical and then some middle theory. It was about team. That it was about team. Yeah. Basically, team. Yeah. And that was team that process. Mm -hmm. Downstream process team. Okay. So I studied film by you know movie. So, so that is really that is my special. So upon my return, uh, the old boy set up another company apart from what he was running. You know, basically for the kiln guy and the movie. So I started out one. When he saw how that one was going, then he left everything to me. You know, both the saw mailing and then the process and everything. I took over. You know, but then unfortunately, a few years after I took over, I moved and uh, 
That is when the problem started. Can you take us through that ordeal, you know? Yes, yes, yes. How yes. um, were you able to withstand all that challenges? That's right. Um, so after he died, after he died, he had some loan from a company, from a bank in the US. And um, they, those guys are smart. They, they, they didn't really ask for collateral. They made the old man sign as a personal grantor. Okay. You know, that means if the money is not paid, they are holding you personally responsible. Okay. And what that means is every property of yours automatically becomes a collateral. Oh wow! Yes. So, so it means that um, old boy didn't read the small print. He did, but then he he needed the money. Mm -hmm. He wanted the company to, to you know to, to wrap it up to some sort of table just, yeah. yeah. So he just signed. So when he died, certainly nobody was going to take that responsibility. Okay. <laughs> nobody would, because immediately you become the person. And that means everything that you have. It comes to the, you know, yeah, indirectly yeah. becomes the bank loan if you default. So that, that people just rushed in after he died to you know, start taking over the because to call the court judgment. They, they took everything, took over everything. Including his personal residence, mm -hmm. he had to attach it. You know. So it was quite difficult. Very difficult. Um, after they took over, I had to relocate you know, to Accra okay. because uh, living in Kumasi at that time uh, became unbearable. You know, the shame, everybody knew you as uh, uh, someone running a whole timber firm, and then all of a sudden they see you as nobody you know, because you practically lost everything. You know, so it was difficult, I had to move to Accra. And then start life all over again. Wow. Very That's difficult. a hallmark of, of, of um, a successful person. Yes. You need to sometimes, you know, because I remember um, Donald Trump, the ex US uh, president, was talking about his story mm -hmm. and he was saying that he went bankrupt for almost about two or three times before he gathered himself mm -hmm. and tried to pull through again. So it's a hallmark of. So how did you go? Yes, so when we came to Accra, actually I came with a friend. I mean he was also in Marseille and, and when I decided to move to Accra, he was like, okay, let's go. So we came to Accra and uh, it was practically I mean hustle. We didn't even have a place to live. There was a friend who gave us one of his hotel one day. Yeah, that's where we were catching. And uh, we started, you know, it was more hustling. It was difficult. It's an inspiration as well. Yes, yeah. how, how, do you, how, do you, how do you survive? What are you going to do? What are you, I mean, you don't have capital. What are you going yeah. to do? How are you going to start? You see. Mm -hmm. But then we realized there was one kind of thing or business that we could do with our capital. Okay. And that was becoming an agent. In, in selling properties. Okay. You see, so if someone has a land or someone has a house yeah. to sell, then we took it upon ourselves to sell at a commission. You know, at that time I think we were taking like between two and a half five percent. Okay. So that's how it started. And luckily I got this person, a rich person from Massey who also want to, wanted at that time to acquire some properties in Accra and uh, he knew I had moved to Accra and that's what I was doing. So he contacted me, I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that, these areas. And then, boom, that's how I started. We started, I mean, looking around, getting it for him and then uh, he would give us some little commission, the, 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 the seller too would give us some commission. Okay. And that's how I started. Growing up, so, 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 now, we are also building for people to sell for us. <laughs> oh, the success of it. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So that's why I said, I mean, for 10 straight years in Korea, I had to hustle. And I was paid off. It is. It is. But I think it was a good experience. 
So if you see somebody going through challenges, you have to encourage that person that, you know what, it's a phase. Because no condition is permanent, right? So you go through that phase, you have your wits about you, you make sure you design your own strategies to move on in life, and then success stories, you can even, if, if you are not even confident in yourself, you can go and have some books, go on YouTube, get all that information and start building your business. That's right. Because this is a success story and we don't have all that stories all the time. You know, some go through it and they never come, you know, come out of it. So we thank you and we appreciate you. Thank you. Thank this you. is the captain. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Grateful. <laughs> We just want also want to know about your private life, right? if you can, you know, delve into it a little bit from my schools. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm married to a wonderful, beautiful woman, Mrs. Olive Hunty. And uh, we have three kids. And uh, I mean, I have two kids already. Okay. So you know, those are uh, young in the US. And one is um, 22, the other is 20. And the ones that are here, 14, 12, and 10. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. yeah, so, so do you, you know, I have five kids. Okay, so do you, do you spend time with them because you're a businessman? Mm -hmm. Maybe you might have I do. Right? I really spend time with my kids. And I'm not the type that goes out a lot. Mm -hmm. you know, normally, they close. From school around five. I'm home. I also come home around five. Okay. I make sure that when you have any assignment, personally go through them okay. Okay. all the time, all the time, and uh, I, I, I'm quite attached to them. Okay. So, apart from the chief tenancy and the business, what, what, what are you aspiring? Maybe in the next two, three, four, five years, what, what, or do you want to enter politics or? Yeah, normally yeah. I mean. Uh, uh, from the seats of Tansi, that is what you, you, you would think. But I think the laws of our country bars cheats uh, from entering into politics. So it's either you abdicate you know, your post, mm -hmm. exam, you have achieved, or, 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 I mean, and then go and do the conflict of interest. Yeah. I mean, even as I am, I'm not the type that shows which party that. I am, you know, exactly, because uh, what happens is if I'm with party A, that means when party B is in power, my people are going to suffer. If I should come out, so have to be a neutral, neutral citizen. Exactly. Yeah. So I don't think I'm going to go I think I'll maintain the chief and see and then try and help my people. So what specific projects are you doing? Um, currently, we are building something like a community center. That's what I'm sourcing yeah, yeah. yeah, We are building a community center with offices. We even have a residence for a chief to live there. So it's quite a huge, huge problem. People are helping. I mean, yourself, you donated some money to it. <laughs> and we thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, so people are helping you know, here and there. It's on board. It's on board. So since they um, put you in that position, um, I just want to know if your community is really on board with you in terms of your vision for their community. I would say that they, they, they are. Yeah, because I mean most of the uh, uh, no development position. development committees they I'm on I'm, I'm a met. On almost all the development committees, we have the UN development committees on, on all of us. And the one that is that you just donated to, I am chairing that one. Okay. Even the, the major committee, uh, the development committee, we are having a meeting in my house tomorrow. They all here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Involves, I mean, uh, uh, big chiefs and then, you know, very renowned uh, uh, business people mm -hmm. in the country. If you're very financially and you need to know that they are all coming here to the meeting tomorrow. They are going to, you know, 
think about how to get development to uh, dear town? Because I, I, I think, you know, this new sort of position is spreading across the country. And um, I've heard stories that people that have been put in that position are not up to the task. But your case is different because, you know, you've started doing projects that are really um, good for the community. Yes. And I think people should emulate that kind of, you know, uh, progress of some uh, projects. Exactly. What happens at Sweden for so many? Most of the towns, um, the, the, the chief himself would have to appoint the person. Now, some of them would not take some, an, an indigenous person okay. to become the person. They would just pick somebody who doesn't come from there mm -hmm. and then bring the person to install him, thinking that probably the person has the money. For that matter, he will come and do it for this later. And most of the time, that is, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay, okay. so it's a process of um, selecting exactly. or choosing, if, electing that yes, person. Yes, if the person is an energy, mm -hmm. then he has his heart is so attached to the Passionate place. about exactly. you know, because it's his place. That's where he comes yeah. from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's where he comes from. So that's the problem. That's isn't the it? problem. Yeah, because I've been thinking that yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 you know when they elect or when they take these guys yes. as yes. yeah. nothing, yeah. nothing goes on. Yeah. Some of them so have got to bring them from outside the yeah. 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 So they won't see any need yeah. for them to you know yeah. do yeah. such progress as well. Yeah. 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 And I think another point too is, is there are people naturally who wouldn't want to be a chief. They, they simply don't like it. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. So such a person, if he's installed as the person, mm -hmm. he sees it as just a title, but not a chief. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you know Yeah. Yeah, he's just a title. He, so, he, 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 he doesn't even appreciate tradition think and the culture. The money, they want to maybe just get a title. Advantage. Yes, you know, get a title. He wouldn't even work mm -hmm. for uh, functions. Mm -hmm. You see, the person must see himself as a chief. As, as, it's, it's very important, and then comport as such. Comport himself as such. Mm -hmm. You know, when you see yourself as a chief. Then you know, no, I owe these people something. There's a need for me to do something for them to know that they've installed a chief there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're getting my point. Yeah. Because if the person doesn't see himself as a chief, but just a title in the form of the he doesn't care. I mean, if there is a funeral in the town, he wouldn't come. Okay. There is a festival, he wouldn't come. Mm -hmm. You see? And it's when so people it means they are not involved. They are not involved. What am I doing? The person doesn't see himself as a chief. He sees himself as just a title. He just wants like title. As a person. That's it. But when it comes to our area, the person who is it's really seen as a chief. They expect you to comport yourself as a chief. So it doesn't mean that you know you have to be groomed and. You have to be groomed, schooled, yes. and educated about Absolutely. you know the, the responsibilities and commitments. Yes, other areas when they are installing. Yes, other areas when they are installing in Kosovo, they don't even keep the person in the room. It's just a, 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 I mean, a function, like a, a, a lunch. Yeah, lunch yeah, that people thing, come yeah, in. That's what yeah. they do. Oh, our area is not like that. That's not like that. They do it Me, properly. I was put in the room. Traditional. Traditional. Put in the room. Sleep. Customs, you know, yes. good place. Yes, you sleep on the floor mm -hmm. with just a mat. Mm -hmm. They wake you up to uh, I mean, mm -hmm. these are the things that you yeah. You go through the rituals. You have to go to the rituals. Yeah. Not just a title. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But that's the difference. That's the difference. The person doesn't see himself as a chief. That's what happened. He didn't even go to the town. I've seen a lot of people, so they don't even do it. No, no, no. So it means, means it means that they don't do the right process of like, you know, going through the rituals exactly. and the customs and the traditions for them, them to understand that their position. Their position. You know, mm -hmm. 
place they will slaughter the sheep. Pour the, the blood on your hand, hand and leg like they are exploring. Proper, any proper, other yes, yes, yeah. proper, great for you know, tradition. Yes. My producer, um, can you cut it so that uh, you know. Yeah, so Nana, you, you, I think I understand your, your, your submission because the need to go to that rigorous process of the tradition and the customs for them to understand, to buy into the chieftaincy, you know, um, properly, properly, so that they understand and know what they achieve. So it means, it means they're not doing things right and wrong. Right. Yes, a lot. That's how they do. Just take a person one day, one Saturday, they just take you, install you, put you on the seat, one day, two, three, 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 three. No. Because I saw a couple of, you know, that kind of occasion, like um, that mediocrity sort of um, coronation mm -hmm. about some celebrities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's um, Fan Hagen and then when the shame, um, when the shame, mm -hmm. you know, they just said they are in Kosovo, so they just did yeah, yeah. It's just, yeah. Of, um, so no one is the title. Throwing a party or yeah, yeah, yeah. small ceremony, yeah. and that was it. That was it. That so, was which it. means they didn't go through that. No, no. And, and I think, I don't know if they come from that particular area, mm -hmm. but as you're saying, you have to be part of the community to be selected or elected, yeah. and then you go through the process, process you know, like any installation of any other chief. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I if you want to know how mine went, mm -hmm. the chief himself, that, uh, the commander himself, will send people mm -hmm. to your house, mm -hmm. that is, you sell the as a people. Okay. You will be drumming and singing war songs. They will come and capture you. So that's the that's the ritual. The tradition, yes. They will come and capture you. And then take you and then go and perform the rituals for you. Slaughter a chief, uh, the sheep, put it on your you know, yourself. Mm -hmm. You will put what we call local issue mm -hmm. on you and speaking uh, 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 blessings upon mm -hmm. you, blessing you with wisdom, your money, everything. Mm -hmm. After that, then they take you into a room. Spend some days there. Spend some days there. Mm -hmm. That is where the room happens. Mm -hmm. Then you have the chief come there. To teach you. Teach you. Exactly. Open your eyes. Yes. You know, because from that day onwards, your mm -hmm. life is going to change. The way you comport yourself outside has to be different. Mm -hmm. The way you speak in public is going to be different. It's just like the Ten Commandments. The chief comes in. It will take you through by the time you come to get to the So how do you spend your um, you know your free time? Yes, I like reading a lot. I read I I like reading it metaphysical, you know, with the staff. Yeah, I, I, I'm really into metaphysics. And um, um, I also do um, I'm I'm this is my way. I do a lot of research about death and what happens when I'm always reading or watching videos. Surprisingly, I do that as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm yeah. surprised. Yeah. I don't know. I think, I think you and I have yes. a lot of things in common. Eric, Eric. It's strange. I'm surprised you're saying that. You have to put it to you. You have to put it to you. We have a lot of things in common. We have upset that. I mean, because no, I do metaphysics all the time, yeah. I do spirituality, you know, yes, yes, yes. I read, I check, you know, yeah. problems of yeah. stuff, and then I mention the Lord, I'm interested in that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm almost always, you know, when you see me alone in the room, you don't have to read about it, or if you listen to me, or if somebody is a near death experience, experience. Okay. Yes, or watching videos, you know, that's like that. I don't like watching movies alone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I also do. So, Nana, um, when it comes to you know tradition and religion, do you, do you uh, are you part of any uh, religion? Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a baptized Methodist. 
Tradition is tradition. I, I always say you give to Caesar what is Caesar, you give to God what is God. When I go to Latte and then they are pouring like fish, I'll be part of it. Because mm-hmm. I know they are talking to the mm-hmm. you know. And then when it's time for me to go to church, I'll go to church. I believe personally, um, I believe personally Jesus is my Lord and Savior. That would be high. I, I, there is no doubt about that. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a Christian. I was brought up as a Christian and I've never had to go with that thing. Um, tradition is tradition. We, it's, it's our culture. We don't have to forget about it just because we, we, we are Christians. No, no, but have you heard the story about people saying that the white man came in and gave us the Bible for that Christian back? We I have traditionalists. Yes, I have. Mm-hmm. And I believe in putting things to test before believing them. I can tell you that I personally encountered encountered Christ. There was a point in time in my life that things were so difficult that I prayed for me. I mean, I, 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 it was a heartfelt prayer. And it was answered. That was the time that I lost the company and then I had you know, come to my cry and then things were so difficult. And I prayed to him. I went to sleep. And I heard it, it was said clear, don't worry, I'll help you. It was clear. And nobody can convince me that putting your feet in Christ is negative. Is negative. No. I don't think anybody can convince me. I have that in some of the Prayer works. Prayer works. Anybody who says that prayer doesn't work, then it means you haven't encountered Christ. Oh, he didn't pray well. Uh, the, the supernatural. Supernatural. That's right. Because it works. It works. It works. I don't care whatever people believe in. Yes. But my personal and your personal encounter and experience, experience. means yes. prayer works. Yes. You know, so I, we I, can miss a match. I am a traditionalist as well. Yes. I do, I have for my, I'm not cheap, but I do my life yes, yes, yes. from time to time. Yes. I talk to yes. the God, my ancestors, Your father who is dead, you know, Paul, Frank, I'm telling you what you need on this. And I believe that Christ is also the, one of the ascended masters and who, you know, has a connection with the divine um, creator. So I think I agree with that. They are very People are always confused about this, that um, the fact that maybe you are drinking or you know, having fun. It's got nothing to do with anything. No, 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 and I'm glad that you understand that perspective in terms of tradition mixed. Exactly. Yeah, because you know most of these chiefs sometimes get confused. And then most of them are either traditionalists, they don't want to go to church at all, exactly. or they mix it and they get confused and they don't really you know what they're doing. Exactly. But you have the understanding of the two, yes. which makes you unique in terms yes. of your yes. beliefs. Yes. So, it is a uh, nice conversation, Thank you know, very relaxing conversation, and a very um, great ambience. Thank you. Any and, advice uh, to the youth of we, 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 uh, we are pleased to, to stop on So, um, tell my viewers if you have any um, sort of advice to, you know, the up and coming youth and even the adults who are also struggling to make their mind. Well, the advice is so simple. Um, Rome wasn't built in a day. Life is like climbing the steps. Um, if the steps 
it's, that steps itself mm -hmm. as you climb is plenty. Mm -hmm. It means that it's going to be easy for you to climb. But then when the intervals are so wide, it's difficult, you know, to move one leg to the other. Mm -hmm. So don't give yourself some, you know, shortcuts to, to make it low. Mm -hmm. There are no shortcuts. Yes, there are no shortcuts. It's gradual. Mm -hmm. you know. And then you get there. Once you don't give up, you get there. Mm -hmm. Step by step, step by step, you get there. Once you don't give up, you get there. So determination. Commitment and devotion. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Madam, for the advice. Right. We appreciate you. Thank you. Madam, do you have any inspiration of writing a book? Yes, I really do. I mean, with my interest in the happenings of the afterlife, I, I wish to write a book. Okay. And what do you want to write about? Um, what happens when you die? Okay. I want to give people hope that um, death is not as bad as they think. Okay. Even the Bible says that uh, death is like profit unto men. Okay. You know, Paul said that to live is Christ and to die is gain. So death itself is not as bad as you think. Okay. Um, if you study near the experience of people you get to realize that 99 percent of them never wanted to come back okay. they, after they came back and they were asked here and there, uh, there mm -hmm. which one they preferred each and every one of them preferred which means the promises that the bible gives us is true it's true you know, there's a blue paradise somewhere that after you die, you go. Now, what we talk about, the Bible talks about hell. And for that matter, there's hell too. Hell, I think, is a state of mind. There's no hell. That is my thinking. There's no hell. God, as loving as He is, would not put people perpetually into hell. But then you yourself, if you die, and then, I mean, consciousness. Consciousness survives death. When you die, you, you don't think of, and it, it, it doesn't bring an end to consciousness. So if you've done certain wrongs, you'll be aware of what you've done. And you regret so much what you've done. That's the coming wrong. Exactly. Especially. If you go and kill somebody because of money, mm -hmm. and then you die, go to the other side and realize, ah, so money isn't anything that I should kill a human being. You are going to regret eternity. And that is hell. You know, people will talk about, then what about Satan and the devil and whoever? They have chosen. The path that we want. Everybody has their own path, so they can choose what they want. Yes, and they are an educated man. Is not a creation of Satan. Man is creation of God. And for that matter, when you die, you go back to Him. Yes. yes. So I wish to write a book about that. I've been doing a lot of research and come back. Yes, I wish to write a book about that one day. We can't wait to read it. Yeah. So, wish you all the best in your endeavor to create your own blueprint yes. yes. on a new book yes. that will help you know people yes. to understand yes. how nature works. Exactly. Thank you very much. Yeah, this Nana River Campus Residence. The residence of Nana Africa. That's Nana. Nana is right there, in front of this door. Nana, good evening. We are here to visit the palace. Here. Uh, 
is part of it. There's no way we can edit. Right into the interview for some few minutes and then 